Hello, hello, we got Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is knowing when to reject a woman. And this is a very important topic. You know, I feel uh, a lot of guys don't necessarily know when to reject a woman. Or they feel like, uh, according to society standards, you should stick it out and pull through. And it will change eventually, as long as you keep on doing the same thing, expecting something to change, which is the definition of insanity. You know, so a lot of guys don't understand exactly um, when is the best time or when they should uh, reject a woman or dump her or just stop dealing with her, charge her the game. Shout out Lucario. Um, but, you know, it is very important knowing when a girl is interested and knowing when to let her go or to reject her. You know, so it's a little chilly in here. But we all get still going to make this video for y'all. Do what we can uh, let y'all hear some information that could uh, help you guys in this dating game. So you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, the first thing is really uh, when a girl is, you know, you guys are first meeting. Is she following your lead or is she being difficult? That is very important because when a girl first meets you, she should be on her best behavior. And if she is not, or if she's playing too hard to get and making things too difficult, not making your life easy, you know, you want to go somewhere. She's like, no, I'd rather stay over here with my friends. And I get it. You know, safety, if you're out and about in the bar or whatever, club. But even then, it's still difficult she's not following your lead you gotta find other women who are gonna be you know easier going and uh you know follow your lead so you gotta reject those ones who are difficult it just makes your life easier instead of trying to or attempting to um get a girl who's already a brick wall and staunch to come with you find other women who are gonna be easier going and who will follow you without the hassle very easy very easy you know but also maybe uh when you guys are are not aligned in your values you know and her values aren't aligned with yours then you gotta be able to let it go as well and with that being said, it's like, hey, maybe <laughs> you you all went well on this date and you bring her back to your place. And she's into BDSM or she's into more dominating in the bedroom and a man who's more submissive in the bedroom. But you being a strong, strong masculine man, you're not into that. You know, so... You got to let her go. You know what I mean? Or if she's just used to um, uh, telling men what to do um, and where to go and how they should have it done and pretty much running the show. Apparently, you're not going to be up with that. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to reject her and let her go. You know, so it's always very important to understand if a woman's values and yours are not aligned, and this is just from dating, let alone if you're dating and you're looking to pursue a relationship, you know what I mean? You got to make sure your values are aligned and that you guys are compatible and you get along. Um, if somebody, you know, you're dealing with a woman who's a bad communicator and you like to talk things out because you understand the value of communication, that is a huge red flag, you know, and you got to let her go. Um, it's very important, you know, so all that is important and we got to understand, uh, what our standards are and what we're willing to put up with and what we're not willing to put up with as strong alpha dominant men, you know, and you have those standards to make your life easier and better. And also to make sure that the relationship or the interaction you have with that woman, uh, runs, um, smoothly for the both of you guys. 
you know, so you got to always keep that in mind. Ah, another thing that is a, a huge red flag to look out for <laughs> is if she is argumentative. Again, that kind of ties into if she is, um, you know, a little bit more difficult and doesn't follow your lead. I'm sure you can see this in the beginning and then you'll let her go immediately. But sometimes it does happen where, you know, maybe you've been in a relationship for a while and then you kind of get complacent and she starts to challenge you and argue with you and she's not as easygoing and she's a little bit more difficult. So, um, how you would handle this is first you tell her, and this is where you have to be aware and self-aware of what you are when you're lacking, but you got to let her know, Hey, I don't like the whole back and forth. And especially if she's arguing about unnecessary things. Um, of course you have to first let her know you don't like it, but then second, you got to understand where she's coming from. You, you have to kind of relate and understand where she's coming from and see if you can change it. You know what I mean? Change how, or uh, fix, for, let me not say change, but fix what she's dealing with and how she's feeling, you know, and see if she just needs to talk it through or if, uh, you know, you have to, there's actions that you both need to do in order for her to be more relaxed, be more in the feminine. That's a Corey Wayne uh, technique, Coach Corey Wayne. But the key is understanding where she's coming from. You know what I mean? After you've said, hey, we got to fix this. I don't like it. And then from there, if you can't come to a conclusion, uh, a, a conclusion that suits both of you guys, you got to go your own separate ways. You know, but if you do, then obviously, cool, y'all can continue, you know, in, in your positive direction. But you have to understand where you are going wrong. And then second, you got to understand um, what you got to do to fix it. And if it can be fixed, because if it can, again, you got to go your separate ways. That's just natural, you know, so. Um, that is very important because a lot of guys deal with that in relationships, especially when they've been in relationships for a long time. The woman takes the lead or she's not as uh, feminine. She's a little bit more disrespectful. You got to understand those boundaries and, um, and what you what you want and how to fix the situation and uh, make it beneficial for both of you guys. You know, um, and also. If she's disrespectful, disrespect, you know, again, this is something that can happen in, in the beginning. If she's, she's loud or she talks bad about you or she kind of makes fun of you for coming at her. You know, obviously those are easy ones. You're just going to let her go. Those are easy. Um, but again, when you're in a relationship or something, or maybe you're, you're dating or you're just, um, you know, hooking up with each other and she's kind of a little bit more difficult. You know, you got to understand the fact that she has to, um, she has to understand that you don't like that. You got to let her know you don't like that. And then again, kind of like the argumentative, you, you, you have to, uh, understand where she's coming from and communicate, um, what you guys could do to, to, to fix that. You know what I mean? Oh man, my bad. I gotta, I gotta fix this whole running right nose situation. My bad. But um, when it comes to all that, you've got to make sure that you understand where she's coming from, and you gotta understand if it's something that could be fixed. Because you're not gonna tolerate the disrespect. Of course, this is again after you kind of let your guard down, and now you're playing catch up. So. Um, obviously if you don't ever gotta, uh, get ready you, and you stay ready, you know, you get to go. And I, I know I said that backwards, but you know, as long as you stay ready, you don't ever got to get ready. You know what I mean? So you always got to be on your P's and Q's, understand where your woman's coming from or the w woman you're dealing with, where they're coming from. And, um, 
uh, I guess what else you got to do to make sure they stay like that? But if she's already disrespecting you, you got to you gotta talk to her. Let her know you're not going to put up with that. And of course, uh, you got to understand where she's coming from. And if you're not able to come to a conclusion, again, you got to let it go. And that's just kind of what it is. Communication is rules of the nation. So you got to communicate and uh, make sure you guys are able to come to a beneficial uh, situ a conclusion for the both of you guys. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and then uh, last but not least here, if she changes from the time when you first met her, like when you first met her, you were dating Got in a relationship, she was fit, she was sexy, she looked good, she was so feminine. And then over time, she gained weight, was due to kids or no kids, and she just was bitchy and angry, just has a bad attitude. Again, you got to, as a man, understand where she's coming from because it doesn't just come overnight. And that's also because usually you have been slacking on your manly duties and being that strong man, you got more complacent and became more weak and more insecure and more submissive to her. So then she had to be more masculine and just kind of let herself go and just wasn't trying to do as much to uh, please you. You have to understand, you have to communicate and you got to understand what you don't like about what she's doing. And you got to understand what's the reason she's doing it for, you know. And again, if she is not willing to go back to how she was when you first met her and what you really enjoyed, you either tell her this. I'm going to have to find other ways to meet my needs sexually or we will have to just break up, you know, so. Uh, you just have to understand your options and you got to understand the, 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 the end game. You know, she's not willing to, 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 to go back to how she was, follow your lead. You got to let her go and you got to reject her. You know what I mean? So it's all very simple. It's all very easy. You know, you just have to know what you want and be willing to make the hard call. And obviously you got to know what she wants and where, where she's coming from. You know, again, you know, so it's all very simple. You know, very easy. You just got to you just gotta be willing to make the call. You know what I mean? So, but uh, you you guys, that's all I got for you today. <laughs> and um, if you like the video, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Also, let me know what other video topics you like me to discuss here. Um, and we'll, we'll make it happen. And, of course, donate if you find value. Um, I appreciate it. Oh man. But uh yeah, you guys uh <laughs> I appreciate it and remember you guys are the strong men. You're the strong alpha dominant select men and you guys rule the world. You just gotta realize and and in your mind that you are those guys and once you put it in your mind, you'll see it in your reality. So until next week, I'll see you guys so be safe, have peace. And continue to dominate your world. Peace.